channel thank you all for tuning in today we're going to have a bit of a fun video doing a product review here so recently uh, came up with a huge problem um, it's now May and we're getting into spring and my uh, nice range building um, previously I had a few carpenter bees hanging around but I went up there the other day and they're pretty much attacking the whole building and in fact have uh, started to burrow in and um, potentially at some point could destroy one of the uh, support beams on the building. So that itself is going to have to be repaired, which is going to be a big job, it looks like, um, with the way everything is situated. But uh, we need to get rid of these carpenter bees. And so for quite a while now, um, I've had a regular bug assault um, gun, uh, which uh, essentially shoots uh, just regular salt. And it's been very effective on flies and all that stuff. But um, kind of ran into an issue previously trying to take down those other carpenter bees with it and uh, it's like shooting a BB gun at a tiger tank. Uh, <laughs> those carpenter bees they are built tough and so I uh, happened to be looking around the bug assault um, uh, website there and happened to find that they had this product out called the shredder and I was like oh this might be interesting here so this is a little bit more of a high power deal um, you know, pretty much I'd kind of uh, consider this similar to basically like an airsoft gun or something like that. Um, because what it uses is it uses CO2 power and uh, essentially these cartridges here. So if you guys have ever used airsoft guns or anything like that, um, some of these gas powered um, and battery powered airsoft guns, um, they can be, uh, they could pack a wallop. Um, and, uh, you know, so um, with these CO2 cartridges, I think it's something rather than kind of using that hand pump mechanism on the regular bug assault, uh, definitely will give it a bit more oomph uh, trying to take out these carpenter bees. So um, looked into the reviews and everything. Um, pretty much overall, I would say most folks were saying that they were very effective on, uh, on carpenter bees. And so went ahead and looked into it. The price point on it is a little bit higher if you all are interested in purchasing it. Um, check out the Amazon link b below to uh, support the channel. I do appreciate that. Um, and you have these cartridges here that are basically already preloaded and everything. Um, already set and ready to go. Um, so, yeah. Let's get this baby out and um, kind of have a look at it and see what we got. Alright folks, so pretty easy design. Uh, looks like it just breaks open basically like an old school revolver. Just simple top open design there. And then your CO2 um, cartridge goes in the grip. So pretty easy, you just have to pop the grip panel off, install your CO2 cartridge. And um, instructions, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll go through the instructions uh, real quick off camera and uh, just make sure there's, you know, anything that I might need to know or whatever. Um, one thing that they strongly emphasize is do not point the shredder at any humans. Um, treat it as a loaded firearm. Do not point it at family pets, anybody else. Da, 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 da. Um, don't, don't kill the butterflies. I actually got a butterfly video coming out soon. Um, and uh, they don't actually want kids using it as well. So yeah, just a lot of safety stuff because this does have a bit more oomph than that regular bug assault. It's designed to take down those um, uh, bigger insects. So again, it's not a toy to be played with. Um, or anything like that <clears throat> and then there's some additional stuff um, just about the co2 cartridge and the cartridge uh, the assault cartridges and all that so looks pretty simple um, I'll read that stuff off camera and then uh, hey let's take this thing out and knock down some carpenter bees got them
Hey folks, all right, so let's talk about the actual practicalities of using this on a regular basis. Um, so first thing is that it is, as we probably mentioned before, it is gas powered uh, with CO2 cartridges. CO2 cartridges are widely available. They're used in BB guns, pellet guns, um, airsoft guns, all sorts of stuff like that. And if you've ever used anything like that, then the operation of this is going to be pretty familiar to you. Um, so your standard CO2 cylinders, um, I still have a bazillion of these from years ago uh, uh, whenever I used airsoft guns in training situations. And so one of the things they mention is, and if you know from using airsoft guns and stuff like that, is sometimes a lot of the seals and stuff can kind of dry out a fair bit. So one thing they do mention uh, is to, anytime you install a new CO2 cylinder, just take some silicon oil, which I've already put some here on this pad, and I'm just using just the standard silicon oil. There's specific silicon you can get for airsoft guns. It's probably the same thing. Um, or, you know, like BB guns and stuff like that. Um, so there's stuff like that out there. I think I've got a bottle or two, but I can't find it. But uh, to install it, pretty simple. You just put it in here. Um, and then we have um, pretty much uh, this little tab right here. Just slot it in. And then you're going to use this, essentially, to um, and just rotate it and just you'll hear a little poof of gas there and so we've got it installed and just kind of you know make sure it's fairly tight there and then you're just going to kind of fold this back and then you can go ahead and put your grips back on and the grips just kind of snap on so pretty simple in terms of that uh, so far I have found that uh, you're probably good for at least uh, 40 shots I would say maybe maybe more it just kind of depends it seems maybe on the cartridge itself or whatever but you know let's just say 40 to 50 shots i think you can probably count on with it uh and then once you get more nat it's you probably the power will start to fade maybe the last five shots and then you'll definitely notice it's out after that um, but i find that's enough for pretty much going out and um you know taking on the carpenter bees for 30 minutes or an hour um that you know, I don't, I, I don't think I've run into a situation where in the middle of all that I've had to change the CO2 cartridge. Now the other thing that they mention is um, don't leave these uh, gassed up for more than 24 hours uh, due to the seals. Uh, you can kind of end up springing a leak or whatever. So what I do is I just load it up for the day just like I did. I'm going to go out and do some carpenter bee hunting. Uh, and then at the end of the day, whatever gas is left in it, I'll just uh, shoot it blank. Till I get all the gas out and then put it away for the day because sometimes if I get busy or whatever maybe I won't be able to go the next day or whatever so I just do that to, uh, to ensure longevity of this um, so that's something to be aware of to load it up pretty much what we have right here is we have our 10 shot clip and we just go ahead and install it just like that now you can see I've used eight shots on this so um, essentially the way it works is it rotates this way so uh, let's say I want to use these next two shots up. I just line it up on the blank cylinder in front of the two shots that are left and then close it up. And then that way, just like a regular revolver, whether I go double action with it or whether I um, go single action and pull the hammer back, um, you know, it'll rotate to that next cylinder there uh, when that action happens. So you can shoot it double action, which means uh, we have the hammer down. You pull the trigger all the way. Um, and it, at the same time the hammer goes back and then when it reaches a certain point the hammer will drop and fire it So you can shoot it single action. Um, I myself tend to prefer to per, I prefer single action Which is just uh, cocking the hammer back and it'll also set your trigger back further So you'll have more of a hair trigger. I guess you could call it um, And so that's just my preferred way in terms of the sights, I actually find it's very accurate here. Let's see if we can kind of look down the bore there. And pretty much what you're looking for is just like a regular pistol, is pretty much uh, if you can center up that bug pretty much on top of your sights there uh, and um, get that front sight just kind of dialed in on that bug, um, you know, the accuracy is actually pretty damn good on it. So, you know, just look straight down the board just like you would with a regular pistol and pow, get them. Um, if you kind of just shoot it where um, kind of like Hollywood style where you're not really looking through your sights 
Um, sometimes I've landed some shots like that when I make quick shots, but um, wouldn't count on it. Like I said, looking through the sights, the sights are actually pretty much bang on, so use them. Um, the other thing too is you do have a safety here as well. Uh, so to use that, you pretty much have to pull the hammer back slightly and then pop the safety over and then you can drop the hammer. And then it, you know, if you go to pull the trigger, nothing. Okay, so it's basically a hammer block there. And then if you want to take the safety off, you're just going to have to pop it. It's a little bit tight. There we go. And then slowly drop the hammer down. There you go. Okay. So pretty easy in terms of um, how to use it. Not all that difficult. So easy day. All right, folks, let's wrap up this video for the Bug Assault Shredder. So what do I think? Well, in a nutshell, it is a phenomenal piece of kit. There is no way that I could have reduced the Carpenter Bee numbers as quickly as I did without this. Um, Carpenter Bees are kind of very difficult in terms of, um, you know, trying to knock them out of the air. And this did the job right here. I could pretty much load up with this and go hunting and uh, you know very quickly I was able to reduce their numbers yes like I pointed out in the other carpenter v bee video that I made there's other things that you can do to mitigate carpenter bees and wasp and stuff like that but in terms of if they're flying in the air and there's big numbers of them uh, this takes them down very quickly and very effective also too if you want to purchase this check out the Amazon link below as of right now when I'm dropping this video, Amazon has these for 20% off. So definitely jump on board and get one if you need one to take down big insects. Um, personally, myself, haven't been disappointed at all. It's proven to be accurate. It's proven to be reliable. It's proven to have the power above the regular bug assault to take down those big insects. And it works well. So folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any questions or comments below. I always love hearing from you all and y'all's experiences. Make sure that you like and you share and subscribe the video. And uh, hey, we'll probably do a couple more videos in the future with this. We'll see how it goes. But right now I have tons of videos in production. So y'all stay tuned because you never know what you're going to see on the channel. I'm working on tons and tons of stuff. You wouldn't even believe the amount of stuff I'm working on. It's pretty crazy right now. All right, folks. So we'll see you next time. Have fun out there.